death. It's what Larry's bringing to dinner. Hey, Mr. Ron. What up, what up? <laughs> um, so you talked about uh, your greatest fear. Um, and that's a good one. That's pretty. That's a, that's a classic. Um, but here's the thing. Um, and I don't think it fully dawned on me about how I feel about death until... I was talking about uh, riding across the United States on my bicycle. And uh, my father was talking to me about uh, the wide variety of ways that I will be um, uh, weaving a safety net for myself as I was crossing the country. And all of them seemed really limiting and uh, time intensive and uh, would, take, would, take away, would, would take away from the spontaneity of the trip and the adventure of the trip. Um, and I said, you know, I'm just not going to do all those things. I'm just going to kind of ride towards the sunrise every day and see what happens. And uh, so my dad was like, well, what if this happens? What if this happens? And he's like, well, what if you get hit by a truck and thrown into a ditch and no one sees you? And I'm like, what? Well, you mean like hit hard enough that uh, I might die? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'll be dead. And then... I don't have to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it, it's it, that's that's everyone else's problem. After that, I'm dead. Um, so the idea didn't didn't actually fill me with fear. Um, it actually, in a way, I was like, uh, I mean, it removes, you know, all uh, what is it? What all concerns? Once you're dead, you're done. And uh, so I suddenly thought, am I scared of dying? And there are some fears. That I have about dying, and one of the, one of the fears basically involves um, the way I die. Um, I, you know, you look at statistics, and uh, being uh, in a car accident um, or dying from uh, a kind of cancer, uh, which actually could be related to a lot of the automotive industry as well. Um, but uh, I don't want to die that way. I think that would be terrible and uh, and kind of pathetic, a pathetic ending to my life. Um, so if I died, uh, this week, um, I hope it would be, uh, in a rock slide or, uh, in an avalanche or, um, maybe boating. A lot of people die boating, um, but not being run over by, uh, some speedboat jerk, um, but taking some rapids, getting thrown from my boat, hitting my head on the, uh, on a rock and, uh, being unconscious and thus drowning, um, I, I don't actually think that sounds too macabre to like plan out like good ways to die. I, just, I think what that means is um, I want to spend my life in such a way as to kind of like shift the odds in my favor so that if I do uh, die through accident rather than through, uh, you know, uh, age, aging, um, it'll be because I'm doing something I love. Uh, hopefully it'll happen while I'm doing something I love. Um, so in a, in a way, like knowing that I'm going to die and uh, thinking that, well, I can't, I can't stop myself from dying, but hopefully I could, I could skew things so that when I do pass away, I'm doing something I love. Imagine, you know, crossing the Atlantic in my sailboat and just kind of like, you know, dying in my sleep or something like that. Like, um, I think, uh, I mean, that would be, I would love that. I think maybe when I get older, the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, um, when I, you know, if, if I could somehow retire, uh, buy a sailboat and just sail the world and uh, one day uh, someone's going to find my boat and I'll be, uh, I'll be dead in the, uh, in the sleeping compartment, happy. Uh, but uh, rather than uh, dead alongside the highway at rush hour where people are thinking, it's so inconvenient that one wreck can make me an hour late for work. You know, so, so fear of death I have, though mostly just fear of dying in rush hour. Right on, Mr. Ron. I had no idea it was so long since we vlogged. That was very cool. Let's vlog more. All right, man. I'll see you in the tubes.